is ozone polar? The answer is yes, even though at one point in my life, I thought the answer was no. I thought that because the difference in electronegativity between each of the atoms was zero, which it is, the difference between the electronegativity of oxygen and oxygen is zero because they're the same atom. And that does mean that there are nonpolar bonds in the molecule. That covalent bond is nonpolar. That covalent bond is nonpolar. I thought that that meant the whole molecule as a whole couldn't be polar. That is the case for something like CF4, where you have a carbon here. This is a polar bond. That's a polar bond. That's a polar bond. That's a polar bond. But because they're all pulling equally in all directions, the dipoles of those polar bonds cancel out. You get an overall dipole of zero, and it ends up being nonpolar. Here, I thought that if you started with nonpolar bonds, then they didn't even have to cancel each other out, and therefore ozone was nonpolar because of that. That was fake news. Polar molecules have an uneven distribution of electrons. What we have here is actually two resonance structures of ozone. Let me draw for you what we call the resonance hybrid. It's an oxygen in the center. It's a one and a half bond in this direction and a one and a half bond in this direction. And there you go. Instead of me showing you that it's sometimes double, well, it's not sometimes double here and single, it's always halfway in between. The point is, we often draw it like this, but that lone pair on the oxygen never disappeared. And so you have a nonpolar bond here, some electron density, a nonpolar bond here with some electron density, and a lone pair that's in fixed position here. But that lone pair has nothing to cancel it out on the other side that extra lone pair on one side of the molecule, take a look at the asymmetric distribution of electrons here, is what causes the molecule to be polar, even though the bonds that make it up are nonpolar. My new rule is, if you have a lone pair on the central atom of a molecule, it likely is polar unless you happen to have a second lone pair symmetrically arranged on the other side of the molecule, which we definitely don't have here. I guess I could imagine something like XEF4, where it's four Fs, these are definitely polar bonds, and then there's a lone pair on one side, you could call it the upper side here, and another lone pair on the other side here because those two lone pairs are able to cancel each other out or the dipole contributed by it could cancel each other out, it would also be nonpolar. But ozone doesn't have that second lone pair to help cancel out the lone pair on the central oxygen and therefore is polar. Realize that was a long explanation, but I used to get this question wrong and I don't want that to happen to you. Best of luck.